What can be sweeter than biting into a sweet and delicious strawberry? Well, I'd have to say creating traditions and memories with your family. And you can do that right here at Cottle Strawberry Farm. I'm here with Hunter, who is one of the owners of the Cottle Strawberry Farms here. And he's going to tell us a little bit about what visitors who have been here before or maybe haven't been here before can expect this year. So Hunter, thank you so much for having us. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Yeah. So we are known for our strawberries, but we have outgrown our previous location. So here we obviously have those same strawberries, but now we have this wonderful park behind us. It's around 12 acres and uh, it'll have over 40 attractions and we also have a big corn maze and then we're gonna uh, kind of embrace each season. We'll have a, a big, uh, you pick pumpkin patch out here and then uh, we'll do stuff for Christmas and we'll kind of change our themes with, with every season. I love it. And how long has Cottle Strawberry Farms been around? Um, so my grandfather started about 60 years ago, but in Columbia, this uh, location originally was about 40 years. Wow, and, and where is the original location? So it used to be off of Bluff Road, uh, Whitehall Road, which comes out on Bluff Road. Beautiful. Awesome, awesome. Now I'm looking around, and so we obviously we have the wonderful strawberry patch behind us, and then, well, the field of strawberries. We have the new addition there, and then there's a store component right here in the front. Uh, yes, uh, so we're currently in the permitting phase, but hopefully we'll start construction in, in the next month on a 3,300 square foot store that will be open year round. It's been fun being out here picking strawberries with my family. They enjoy it and even Adeline got the hang of picking the red one, so it worked out well. So sometimes whenever I'm at home and we get strawberries, um, I eat them all, so then I, I just want more, so I like to come out here and I like to eat strawberries. Well, we don't want to just sit here and talk about all the amazing things that you can experience at the park. We're going to go and check it out for ourselves. Let's go! We've got the um, duck station over there where you, you pump um, water and then the little kids love to pump the ducks back and forth. We have a lot of different art as far as like having local artists come out. We had the giant strawberry painted up front. We're having the giant pumpkin that's about to be painted um, over there as well. All these spools, we're painting them uh, with different themes. sit in. We've also built a, a, a giant swing. Well, we got a lot of giant swings, but one of them uh, I'm pretty pleased with. We had the oldest tree on the property, unfortunately, uh, fell down. It was, it was uh, the base of it was uh, 11 feet in diameter, so it was wow. hundreds of years old oak tree. So we utilized it and made benches out of the tree and made swings smart. out of the tree. Smart, smart. And this is one of our main attractions, it's a jumping pillow. I can jump on the jumping pillow. Yes, ma'am. It holds uh, up to 30 kids at a time. And the shoe cubby. Yes, ma'am. This is one of our manned stations. We have about four stations that require an employee to man it. You ready? All right, backflip. No, not with all the stuff. I, I know how. <laughs> I used to cheer. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> and there's a few other odd in things like the wagons up front are my grandfather's original wagons we uh, refurbished them and um, that's what the public will be riding around in we've got more of them um, and this is our pole barn right here and this is where we have a lot of our swings 
and our corn pit. But this is corn from a local farmer. We try to buy from the local people. Um, we bought antique tractors to ride everybody around on. Those are from local people. Um, we have a, a 1960s old fire truck coming in today. This is gonna be real awesome. This is a giant corn pit corn. the kids could, could play in. <gasps> corn pit. That's awesome. That, now this is, this is, I've never seen. Wow, that's a lot of corn. That's a lot of corn. That is a lot of corn. Whoa. And then um, the, these are uh, our benches we made out of one of the trees out here. So people could just sit and look over the property. This is our little putt putting area. In the little tiny top section. Yes, ma'am. So the smaller kids don't get trampled. Yes, ma'am. We have uh, a local contractor out of Irmo, who has been working for the last month to build a uh, very nice fountain with the waterfalls um, and a bridge. So that's where the um, entrance is for that. So our hay rides will go down one road and then we'll have a private road um, that the public will enter in and they'll walk across a really cool bridge that we built and that tractor with a waterfall and a fountain. Now, I want to talk a little bit more about this kid zone that you all have created. Now, is there an admission price or admission cost to, to for kids to play there? Yes, so that'll be completely separate uh, because we'll have to have employees over there um, monitoring everything and, and uh, allowing certain uh, height children on different rides. And uh, there'll be hay rides, uh, barrel rides, 100-foot uh, landslide, culvert slides, 100-foot uh, long jumping in-ground jumping pillow. Uh, we've got uh, one of the largest uh, corn pits um, in the state out here that they can play in. We've got all kind of swings that, that we've made, and um, it's just going to be a good time. It sounds like fun. We've been looking at it while picking, and it looks like a lot of fun to bring the kids. What is the, the process like to, to pick strawberries here? Uh, yes, ma'am. So you just uh, come in and uh, you'll come to the store up front first and then pay for whatever you want to pick and then you're, you're welcome to come out here and, and try some while you're, while you're picking. And uh, we're hoping that all these other additions will allow the family to make a full day event out of yeah. it instead of just coming out for an hour or so. If you don't feel like coming out here and picking strawberries, you can actually just purchase the strawberries. Yes, ma'am. So you get five pre-picked strawberries. We pick seven days a week, anywhere from 12 to 14 hours a day. Depends on the on the weather, but we always try to keep the freshest strawberries uh, at all points in time. This isn't the only location that you all have strawberries. Talk about some of those satellite locations. Yes, ma'am. So uh, because we grow so many and we try to keep them as fresh as possible, we. Uh, we provide strawberries right now at around eight different uh, satellite locations, and we're still adding some more, but we, we pick those uh, every single day, and that's uh, where, where they go to. Um, we also provide some to, to stores, local stores as well. Where, where can folks go to learn more information about the events that you all will be hosting throughout the year, or just more information about the farm? They go to our website or our Facebook. Mostly our Facebook is what we do daily updates on, and then they can also call us. You can find that number online um, or on the buckets or boxes of strawberries, and we can update you on, on anything throughout those.